Hey everyone! In this video we'll have a look at corrective shapes in Houdini, which are used to correct deformation problems due to volume loss in deformation or simply undesirable deformation that occurs during bone, blend shape or any other deformer deformation. Usually when we reach the point of a bad deformation, we create a corrective shape that is blended on top of this deformation in order to get the final shape we want. We will look at two different workflows, blind shape and the bone deform. There's a slight difference between the two, because the second one requires an inverse skinning deformation. With that said, let's start with a blind shape workflow. Here we have a typical blind shape setup. We have a default or neutral shape, which is our head. We have two blind shapes, mouth corner out and mouth corner up for driving the mouth corner in different directions. And we have a blind shape node that blends between different shapes. As we can see, when both those shapes are at one, we have a loss of volume in the cheek area. To fix that, we have a series of point edits, which together form a corrective shape, which will be used when both of these blend shape values have the value of one. And for our first scenario, we want to create a simple edit node, which contains all the correct information that we can plug into one of the blend shapes node inputs. To create this node, we will use a textport command called subcreate edit. And let's open our textport panel and first go into our geometry object. The first parameter is going to be the name of our new node. So we just call it corrective shape. The second parameter is our uncorrected shape, which is blend shape space. And the last parameter is the corrected um, shape, which is mouth corner edit. After running the command, we have created the edit node. And as we can see, it contains all the information we need. At this point, we can delete this corrective edit because we don't need them anymore, as because all the information we need is now in this edit sub. Now, all we need is connect the input of our edit sub to our neutral shape, which is the head, and the output to one of the blind shapes input. Now, if we set the value of corrective shape to 1, we see that the blind shape output is now also taking into account the corrective shape, and we have the correct shape when both blind shapes have the value of 1. All we need to do now is drive the corrective shape in a way that it will have the value of 1 only when both mouth corner out and up are also one. To do that, we will write an expression. So let's open the expression window for our parameter.
what this expression does is that it basically checks whether or not the mouth corner is going in the diagonal direction and how far it is going and calculates the value of the blend shape based on those two parameters. So when both parameters are causing the mouth corner to go into a diagonal direction, it will raise the value. But when only one is going is raising value, we will not see a difference uh, in the value of the corrective shape. As we can see, we have created a simple edit node with blend shape expression that drives the corrective shape. For our second option, we can use the shape difference node. As the name implies, this node calculates the difference between two shapes, which in our case is the combination of two blend shapes and the corrective edit shape. First, let's create the shape difference node. We should connect the output of blank shapes to the first input and uh, corrective it into the second one. So let's just rename it to like corrective shape. Now the difference method should be post deform. Now if we look at the result of our corrective shape node, we see that we get sort of an odd shape. And this is actually fine. Uh, this is because the corrective shape only stores word space difference between two shapes. Um, so the point uh, difference is, uh, is stored in the point word space position. This, this means that if we create a point triangle, and add point um, positions from the corrective shape to the blend shape, we should get the correct corrective uh, shape result. I just renamed this to corrective shape sum. And now, as we can see, we have a correct shape. So what we need to do is connect it to our blend shape setup, but we cannot do it because the output of our blend shape is the, um, is the input of our shape difference node. To create a proper deformation order, we're going to create a copy of our blend shape face node, which will have the uh, blend shape values set at the position in which we are creating the corrective shape. Uh, in this case, both uh, blend shape values will be one. So now let's reconnect some inputs. The corrective edit should go into blend shape corrective. And we're looking at the difference between uh, these two. And um, for the wrangle, we have to take into the default shape, which is our head. And now we can connect the output of this um, point wrangle into the blend shape face up. And now we can copy and paste our expression. Which is the same as we had in the Socrate edit example. So as we can see, the results are the same. Uh, the only difference is that now we can make additional edits and uh, the results will be updated automatically. Uh, whereas with uh, SoftCreate Edit, uh, we have to constantly call SoftCreate Edit to create a new edit node and create the updated version. 
just uh, one note regarding how to incorporate this into a rig. Um, so the only two parameters that are being animated or connected to the uh, outside controls are these two in the Blanchet phase. Um, this one, Blanchet Corrective, will always be set to one and will not be animated or anything because they are only used to create this uh, corrective shape. So these are two options for the Blanchet workflow and in part two we will look at the Bound Deform workflow. Bye bye.